Early in the design phase, you may wish to export your building model for further analysis. In order to transfer your building model to another analysis program, such as Train Trace or eQuest, you should first export a GBXML file. This is a green building extensible markup language file. There are many other analysis programs that can read this file language. The best time to export a GBXML file is early in the design stage, when the model contains only basic building geometry and spaces. Once additional elements, such as furniture and casework, are added, the file becomes larger, and external programs have difficulty distinguishing all the data in the file. If you are working on a project that already has several of these components in the model, you can simply create a new project, link the model, and trace over the geometry. Then you can unlink the model and export a GBXML file. When using this method, focus on the building envelope geometry and exterior glazing. Then add rooms or spaces to fill the entire volume of the building. Components such as interior doors are not important for this stage. To begin exporting a GBXML file, open the application menu and choose Export GBXML. Revit opens the Export GBXML Settings dialog. On the left, you can see a preview of the building. On the right, there are project parameters. These are the same parameters that can be found in the Energy Settings dialog under Common and Detailed Model. The first parameter is Building Type. When you click in this field, you can expand the drop-down and choose a type from the predefined list. Select Office. If you have not already specified the location, you can do so before exporting the GBXML file. Simply click in the field and click the More button that appears to open the Location Weather and Site dialog. Here, you can specify the location on the Location tab and the Weather Station on the Weather tab. Leave the location where it is and click OK. You can also specify the ground plane. If any rooms or spaces are below ground, the exterior walls will not have the same exposure to the sun as the walls above ground. This affects heating and cooling loads, energy analysis, and daylighting analysis. In the Export Category field, you can choose Rooms or Spaces. Select Rooms. For the Export Complexity, you can specify the complexity level of the model. These options range from simple to complex, with and without shading surfaces and mullions. The export complexity will determine how much geometry from the building model is exported to the XML file. The simpler the geometry, the faster the analysis results can be obtained. You can choose to include thermal properties. If you do, the thermal properties from the materials will be used. Select this option. In the Project Phase field, you can choose the proper building phase if necessary. You can also adjust the sliver space tolerance, which is the maximum distance that will be ignored before a shading surface is created. The building envelope parameter can be set to Use Function Parameter or identify exterior elements. Use function parameter will use the function type parameter of walls, floors, and building pads to determine if the element is considered to be part of the building envelope. When set to identify exterior elements, you can control the analytical grid cell size. This is the base size of the 3D grid cells, or cubes, used to divide the building shell bounding box into a uniform cubical 3D grid. Now change the export category to Spaces. 
When you do, additional parameters become available. You can control the building service. Click in this field and expand the drop down to see a list of default HVAC systems. You can also control the building construction and building infiltration class, which can be set to loose, medium, tight, or none. You can also select whether or not to export default values. When selected, the default values for people, electrical loads, occupancy, lighting, power schedules, and construction types are exported together with all user-specified values. When cleared, only user-specified values are exported. On the Details tab, you can choose to view the rooms or spaces depending on the export category selected on the General tab or the analytical surfaces. Since Spaces is selected on the General tab, Spaces appears here. With Spaces selected, the preview shows the spaces in the model. When you select Analytical Surfaces, the preview changes. It may take some time for Revit to compute the analytical surfaces and change the preview. When you switch from one to the other, the preview changes and the tree structure in the pane below changes as well. With spaces selected, the spaces in the building model are organized into branches based on the HVAC zone. If rooms was selected on the general tab, the rooms would be organized by floor level. You can expand a branch to view the spaces in that zone. When Analytical Surfaces is selected, you can expand each space to see the analytical surfaces that bound that space. Those surfaces can be further expanded. For example, there may be more than one exterior wall, or there may be a window in the exterior wall. All this information is in the tree. If there is an error in one of the spaces, the warning symbol will appear next to it. You want each space to be bounded by an analytical surface. For example, if there is a wall that does not have a space element next to it, the wall will not be recognized in some third-party analysis programs. There are also buttons on the right side of the dialog to highlight or isolate the objects selected in the tree. These are actually toggles and can be used if you are not sure where a certain space or surface is located in the building model. You can also orbit the preview like you would a 3D view and change the visual style if you wish. Once you are satisfied with the geometry of the model, you can click Save Settings to save these settings, but the file will not be exported. To export the file, click Next. This opens the Export GBXML Save to Target Folder dialog. Here, you can simply navigate to the folder where you want to save the file, give the file a name, and choose Save. Once you do, the GBXML file is saved and ready to be used in a third-party analysis program.